Okay, so friggin uh, working on the tractor today for Frigga Sack. I wanted to uh, I wanted to have her friggin cigarette last night, but friggin uh, you know, I put a couple hours in cigarette myself to sleep out in the shop. So uh, frig sakes, right? But anyways, that engine there, it ain't got no pull start onto it, so we got to put a battery into it and you know, and I got to mount a fuel tank. So I found this fuel tank. I had to hunt for a cap, found a cap on one of the engines up there for frig sack. So, you know, that'll do for now until I find, you know, a better one. Different things. That one's got a little high top onto it and I don't like it. But anyways, friggin, uh, so I got uh, some solenoids out here. I'm going to show you how to wire, wire up a tractor today with a push start and a friggin toggle switch and whatnot instead of a key. So uh, this is the one that was in it. Where is it? Right here. It's got two antlers on it. I don't like that kind. This one's only got one antler, but it's kind of crusty and I'm missing the friggin the nuts for it and the fine thread nuts and I ain't got that kind. So the one tractor that I got there had a brand new one on it. So I figure, you know, my racing tractor, I don't want faulty parts onto it. So I'm going to put uh, this new one here on there and it's the one wire asshole. So it's perfect. So in my dumpster guide and adventures and stuff, I got a bunch of bundles of wires like this and stuff. I figure, you know, I might as well use that. And, uh, you know, I got some old, you know, power wires and ground wires and different things that I pulled out as different stuff over the years and stuff. But, of course, you can't find it. So that's that's our selection right now. So anyways, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. But uh, we were doing her today. I just got the PTO switch. It's kind of dick because you got to pull it out and lift it up. So that'll be, that'll turn the switch on. So that's going to kill the engine. And then you just click it down for friggin you know gozy's purposes so it's kind of bass backwards but you know it's what i got and it it would come with the tractor that had a plug so i'll just use that connection there and uh plug it back in i tested the back of it with my cigarette and the little noisemaker thing turn on beep stuff like that so we know that's the plug we need and uh this is just an old cobbled up push button antler. I tested it, it works. So friggin' that's what we're gonna use for the pull it push button guy. It's the only one I can find, freak sakes. So I gotta track down a couple more pieces of fat wire and uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I, I, I found this found this uh, to be the best uh, setup for what we got going on there. I drilled a hole up under here for the, for the spigot for the cigarette. So the, the little spigot can go through. It's not in the road. I'm gonna mount it just so it clears the friggin' steering antler right here. It'll, it's gotta go swing back and forth in different ways. So, you know, I'm not gonna have a lot of fuels, but, uh, you know, this is just gonna be for around the track and rip snotting and this and that. We're not gonna go on any adventures with it or anything. Oh, friggin' rights, buddy. What do you think? I think it's good, mate. Think it's it'll go like shit snot? Especially with that engine, yeah. Yeah, I had, uh, had a little yeah. trouble. I was working on it there and I smelled, smelled piss and I thought, Fuck, did elemental piece piss all over my engine? That's not very nice one. But then I, I looked a little closer and the whole top there was just full of rat shit. So I took it all apart and I, I started out just sandblasting the little asshole. And I thought, well, if I'm sandblasting, I might as well sandblast. So I started sandblasting the, the tin there for the in, in uh, the air intake cleaner tutrifier there. So I'll get all that all cleaned up and painted and everything. And they put some merls on the top of the cigarette because it was rusted all the shit. So I'll clean that all up, wire wheel it and everything, the flywheel and stuff. And frig a sack, because I don't want to, you know, I don't know, I got to clean her up before I freaking stab her in there and wire it up. That's gross. Can you smell the piss? It's kind of pissy, eh? It smells like rat space. Yeah. Look at that. It was just a mound on there. Frig sakes. Well, anyways, you know how Pug One gets distracted real easy. I uh, got into, into sandblasting for frig sex. So here's the center friggin' pulls or the flywheel plastic part holder on her right here. And friggin' there's the friggin' bottom of the air friggin' cigarette and the top of it. Still got a couple of bits here and there, but friggin' it's a trapter for frig's sake. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna friggin' toss the engine on there, friggin' see how it fits, friggin' wire it up, and then I'll worry about the battery and the gas tank after, cause I got a friggin', it's pissing me off. Oh, and when Bloke was here, friggin', uh, he sent me, or he brought me some plates, for frig's sake, so. Got a couple Pennsylvanias, and Oregon. Looks like he got this one from, uh, Curtis Mundy. Cur Cur Curtis Mundy, friggin' rights. Friggin Ohio and Tennessee's and then a couple of friggin novelty ones for friggin sex. So friggin rights. You'd think it was my cigarette day or something. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little story about a bolt that's been pissing me off. 
and I thought I'd show you so you didn't say, oh, Pug, you got fuck all done today, bud, you goof. Friggin' what have you been doing? You thought you were wiring your trapter and you're a big goof, bud, but uh, I don't want to friggin' you know, cock around too much. I got this problem here. <clears throat> that guy there, he didn't want to come out. Now I've, I've drilled out the, where is it? Won't focus for nothing anyway. But anyways, I drilled out the middle of it. We'll pick out the guts and retap it, and then we can bolt our tins on proper like and not have to frig around no more. Speaking of tins, there's the friggin' uh, top cover there. I'm probably just gonna run a top covers on accounts of friggin' more awesome, or you can see the heads and stuff. But uh, I got yellow trapter paint and green trapter paint and red trapter paint and friggin' like a sort of a yellowish type case or friggin' Cub Cadet sort of trapter type color, but uh, no blue. So I gotta go get blue for frig sack because that, that, the engine is gonna be blue. That's why. So I got some bits uh, drying outside for a minute and uh, stuffed the top a uh, little round thing. I wanted to paint it because I gotta stick that on there for frig sakes. And so it's red. The little center's red for frig sake. But uh, I even sandblasted the friggin' the bolts for it and everything. I, don't know, I should probably be at least prime them, but whatever. Okay, I gotta go get some friggin' uh, blue paint. You see, I painted that one thing red on account, so I wanted that thing bolted on there right now. And for frig's sake, I only got yellows and greens and reds and no blues, so for frig's sake. But uh, I'll show you what I did here. The uh, toggle switch. Toggle switch, I got one cigarette going over to the coil. So that guy just plugs in under here, like that. I'll plug that in in a sec. And then, uh, I haven't done these up yet, but there's a uh, wire going from the starter to the solenoid, and then from the solenoid to the battery. And then I got the charging wire coming over here, and it's hooked to the positive side of the battery. That's this little stupid uh, looking connection here with the little diode antler into it. And then, uh, so really, the only wire you need is this, the charging wire. You don't even need it, but you know, if you want to charge your battery, you hook up your charging wire and a wire to your friggin' so, um, coil. And, uh, and then your push button, you got the powers coming from the positive side of the coil, the constant power side of the coil. And then the other side's just going to this little uh, doodad right there. Piece of piss. And it just plugs right in like what same as the uh, antler on the underside of the coil okay so there you go charging wire kill switch wire starter wire the rest of the bullshit's all up under there just the push switch and the cigarette switch so I'm gonna want to probably get me a new uh, toggle switch on accounts of you know, on is off and off and is on, but uh, this one you gotta pull it out and lift it up to get it to shut off. And then you can just flick it. And then, so that's on position. And that's off. But uh, if you just uh, push this button here. That was no good. Well, here's a little tip from Pug One. What you're gonna wanna do is hold that down unless you got your tins in to hold it down while you're cranking her over on the testings for your movie or else you're gonna look like a goof when the thing falls off and shoots oil all over your camera and face. Just a, just a little tip from a pot going, but it works. I'm not gonna do it again. I gotta paint the tins and put them on, friggin' this and that. I don't wanna shoot oil all over myself again. I can just spend the last 20 minutes cleaning off my camera. Look at the mess just made all up and down myself. So, friggin' rights, man. Just friggin' just chock full of tips and advice today and the how to wire your Traptor movie that I just made. So anyways, I gotta go to Princess Auto, get some paint and some different things I can't even remember right now because I just can't. So friggin' uh, anyways, there you go. Another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. Don't let the watchers get you. <laughs>